Hello and welcome to my on-air channel. I am your social space curator, Ellie Janae, and today I'm actually going to talk to you about the Spellbinders uh, die cut. I think it's the slider accents. Uh, this is what the slider looks like. These are the accents that you're able to attach. Uh, just tricked you. <laughs> it's not on the other side. But for the most part, I'm going to show you what these are. I have uh, a project that I'm working on right now, and I was like, you know, it would be pretty cool to actually take some time out to kind of share the size and dimensions and what the cutout actually looks like um, when you use this die cut. But um, I usually store all of my dies, and I say usually because I'm still making more die journals um, within a journal. Yeah, a die journal in a journal. Anyway, uh, so I have the dies right here. And let me get a little closer. Okay, so what it allows you to make is a cupcake, and these go together. Let me see. Allows you to make a cupcake. There goes that stack right there. Then it allows you to make ice cream. And these two, I mean, three go together here. You can make a heart. You can make a candle, and then of course you have like the inside detail if you prefer that. And then with the hearts, you have the inside and the, oops, I'm like making scratches as I go. Um, and then you have this, which is, I thought these were like the drops that go with like um, your, your ice cream, but these actually go with the flame. So it gives you some more dimension with your flame. So these are absolutely adorable. I thought they were going to be bigger, but they're not. So um, that was on me though, because I feel like they always have the instructions, but sometimes I like to do things within perspective and show you guys the different sizes. So let me get my ruler out so I can show you guys how big and what they look like um, with, you know, basic color combinations. Okay, so I have my ruler, <laughs> it would be nice to show you the right way, um, available. I'm going to keep this really close uh, shot going in because I'm going to go from showing you this to showing you what I actually have already pre-made. And I hope I didn't, I did. Okay, so first things first, we have this um, pointer, pointing um, die right here. This is what it comes out to be. If I measure it, it is all of one and a half inches long. To me, that's pretty small, but it's perfect if you journal or have like small little things that details you want to point out um, on in your scrapbooking, journaling or whatever. So it's really a nice extra detail, but you know, whenever it's going up and down, that's why they have it so small. So I'm gonna put that off to the side. Now, as far as this heart goes, um, this is what it allows you to do. It has a heart background and then it's detached from this little um, decorative piece right here that gives you these slots. So this is kind of what it looks like. I tried to put the gold in the background just to show you um, the dimension or the size. Um, but from top to bottom, it is about one inch long right there. And then it is one inch and a few notches wide, I think one and a fourth, almost one and a fourth. There you go. So, so anyway, I thought this was an interesting random detail, but I'm not huge into like, you know, I feel like it's a little prissy, it's giving prissy. I like the, the basic heart that it gives you. All right, so now I'm gonna start sliding things forward. I'm going to show you now the the um the ice cream and it allows you to have the background for the ice cream it allows you to have the ice cream um what do you call that the ice cream scooped out with a little bit of detail added to it and then it allows you to have detail for the cone so it gives gives you a risen like a a, a rise effect i don't know a little embossing but it's really not embossing so anyway this is what it ends up coming out to look like this is just some metallic paper that i cut out and then um, I just use the same type of cardstock. That's the same color as the code, a cone, and I cut it out twice. So I did the background die first, and then I ended up doing the um, cross um, cut out second, which is you really don't need to actually have them cut out together. You could cut them all 
separately and it gives you this kind of look. So the dimension that you get for this is, so two, nearly two inches, it's very close. So one and three fourths is where it's kind of landing, five eighths. So um, it's, it's, it's kind of small, I don't know. These cards are like five and a half by four. So, I mean, it's just a really good accent piece. And if you're doing that, um, what it, what this die is supposed to do, which is have a slide bar, it's small enough to allow you to have that background. And see, there's the pointer. Look at that. Okay. So, the next die that we're going to look at is the candle, the candle die here. And what I did was cut three different, one, two, three, four different, I used four different papers to make this actual die pop. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. It is, this is like the cutout. So the bottom part is um, hiding in this assembly, but essentially I have the green in the background. I have the black over top. So that dictates what the color really truly looks like is this, um, cross stitch or cross die here and then I used gold metallic and copper metallic for the flame and that's how I essentially got these I used one two three so whenever you use these two together you're going that's going to dictate the color of your actual um, candle so keep that in mind because I didn't realize that or else I would have put green first and then um, maybe black in the back but I made it work for this actual scene here. Let's see if I can, it's like a birthday cake. How adorable. Okay, please look out for the end results of this. I don't know how I'm gonna end this result, but look out for the end result, you know what I mean? Because I'm really curious to see how that this journal that I'm making turns out. All right, so this is now the cupcake is the last one that's left. So you have the frosting, the cupcake itself, and then of course the paper. So I had a little fun with this one. Oh, to be honest, I got a backpack train up before we do this. I have to measure how how big it is. And looking from looking at it, it looks like it is two and a half um, inches long. So it's it's fairly big actually. Um, given that the other ones are really small, that one was a little bit exaggerated in size. All right, so here is the cupcake one that I ended up doing here. So it gives you some detail in the frosting. You can add some shimmer to it, but I just used a metallic sheet of paper. I used um, a card, I would say like a craft paper looking um, cupcake, and then I used the cupcake paper as well. So this was all super freaking cute there i thought that was very adorable as far as like the size let's go ahead and get into that it is looking like it probably ends right there because i pushed it in so it's like an inch and a half so it is fairly small this one is like super super small like look at my hands it's super small but it has a cute little detail so if you do multiple ones of these it's just you can make this a cute project um in the future so in saying that, this concludes the Spellbinders Paper Arts Cutting Dies. I'm just reading it off verbatim. Um, this is the Sliding Bar Accents, and it has 12 die cuts that you can be able to use. We just went over all 12 and how they actually stack. And the number to this one is, here we go, S3448. So saying that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, and I look forward to chatting with you soon. Bye.